going on? Welcome back to Cooking Bird Martinez. The one, the only Bird Motherfucking Martinez, bitch. Um, Mandy Hola. is here este, because do you see something different? Do you see something different? I see something different. We're motherfucking models up in this house. ¿Sabes qué? I'm gonna apply for that shit. Voy a mandar mi foto así. Y luego así. Y luego así. Y luego así. <laughs> no es cierto. Okay, so these shirts, I got three shirts in the mail from Belinda de Haro. Um, and she gave me this little note. She wrote this little note and said, Miss Bird, just a little something to represent the 303. I didn't know what size to get you, so I hope at least one of them fits. I love your videos. Keep posting. I love the cheese mid time. Thanks for everything. Love post. Love everything you post, Belinda. A veces I forget how to read, bitch. <laughs> um, so, este, she gave me this sh shirt, that one, and the other ones over there. Pero I love you. Thank you so much, bitch. You know what I'm saying? We don't watch sports. I know. Porque siempre me dicen, what's, what's your favorite football team? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't really care. I wear whatever because I like the colors. Remember that one time I was wearing the, ¿cómo se llama? The USC. 49ers? No, I was wearing the USC. And the no, USC, the college football, whatever, the, the burgundy sweater. And we were like, it's a gas station. And then like, oh my God, did you go to that college? Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, yes, bitch, I'm a motherfucking doctor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's like, my son went there too. What class were you? I was like, I don't know, it's been so long, you know, so, <laughs> so many frat parties, just kidding. No, pero, thank you so much, I love it. Mandy loves it. Mandy, she put it on before I even put it on. It's so pretty. I, the I colors, colors, though, the colors. You know what I'm saying? When you have, like, the skin, the color skin, you be popping. Como dice, ten cuerpo de pobre. I have poor people body, which everything fits pretty much. Even if it's big, I rock that shit. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm going to give my little shout outs. Shout out to Peter Smith, your twin. I was like, twins be watching me? Your twin, Andy, told me um, that you get down with the flautas and the, sauce and the salsas. Um, keep cooking, you know what I'm saying? Cooking is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Also, shout out Olivia Tedder. Um, she bought a shirt, but she said, gave, sent me a little extra. And she said, for being the motherfucking best. Yes, the best in the motherfucking West, bitch. Also, Jessica Diaz, her birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday from your boyfriend. And shout out Lupe Ochoa from Adela Adelaro, California. Where is that? I don't know. It's over there, over there, over there, over there. <laughs> Who knows? Um, also, today, we're going to make some chorizo. No, some longaniza. And you're going to help me, too. You're like, I was. I said I was just going to be there for the beginning of the video. Look at that hair, though. Hizo un pinche desmadre, Mandy. <laughs> Hizo un pinche desmadre this morning. She woke up because she got all excited. I got my little nail kit. I saw that. You need my supervision for everything. No, yeah, she's going to hide them nails. So she's practicing to do her nails. Hizo un pinche desmadre. But you know what? You just got to try again. She's not going to show them. But yeah, it was it was crazy. It was crazy this morning. Um, So I'm going to make some longer. I made this yesterday, actually. Pero se acabó. I'll show you guys how much is left. There's leftover. So I made the rice with the chile. Look, this is how much is left over out of like the whole cacerola. And also made the longaniza with papas, the way my mom made them. This is how much is left over. So since I have a little bit of more longaniza, we're gonna make some more, some more. And you, you need to learn to make this, you know why? Why? Because growing up, this was my favorite food, one of my favorite foods. And um, one time when we got kicked out, when my uncle kicked us out, the, the first day we got to that house, um, the girl, she's like, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, whatever. And I said, I know how to cook. I know how to cook. And I made this. And she's like, you can stay here however long you want. Porque, yeah. you know, when you know how to do stuff and you help, you know, if, if you're a guest and you help, people are going to like you more. The people are going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, if you're just sitting there, toda ahí concha, they're going to be, get the fuck out of my house. So, yeah, you know, learning how to cook, simple things. Like, this is fucking bomb. I forgot how fucking bomb it was. Yesterday I made it because me estaba curando, but today I'm going to make it for you guys, even though it's been a crazy day. But we're here. We're alive. Huh, Mandy? Sí. We're going to get through this. Also, um, yeah. So, Doris Varela, she saw it on my Instagram, and she said if I could make it, and here you go. I hope you like it. I hope you guys are doing good. 
Um, Mandy, what do you have to say about the coronavirus? Hmm. I hope I don't get it. I hope I don't get it. No, I stay. She's been reading like this person died and that person died. And I'm like, Mandy, don't tell me nothing. I don't want another one. But okay, Mandy says we got to stay woke. That's what she always says. And I'm like, I want to be asleep. I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to know no more, man. This is the craziest fucking world. It's going crazy. Going bananas. What the fuck are we gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, I don't really, really, really know. Let's get this motherfucker started. Motherfucker popping, motherfucking started. I'm so excited. I forgot to say the fucking ingredients. Okay, motherfucker. So for this uh, little remix, we're going to use tomates. Tomates Roma. How many are we gonna use? One, two, three, four, six. Six. You know what? The other day I made the birria and I just put tomatoes and somebody said, um, did you not put how many tomatoes on purpose? No, that wasn't on purpose. I just forget sometimes. But I'm gonna try to be better with the measurements because I know you guys be like, you know, on the measurements and not everybody cooks the same. Six tomatoes. We're gonna use four papas. Pollito con papas, papas. Pollito con papas, papas. And then one of them, I was starting to peel them, so I put it in water. Always remember to put it in water. Also, we're gonna use one ajo right here. I was giving it to you. Oh. One ajo, and we're gonna use three serranos. These have been hot. You can smell it. Look, I thought jalapenos. No, jalapenos are fatter. The serranos are long. Also, for the rice, we're gonna use cumin. Because this girl on her Snapchat, she sent me. I, tell, I, don't, I forgot your name, but I'll look it up and I'll tell you. She sent me um how she makes her rice. She said it was a little remix in there. So she put a chile, chile serrano, and she put some cumin up in that hole. And it was so good. Also, for the sauce that you put on the rice, I'm gonna tell you guys the ingredients it's tomato, onion, garlic, um, chicken bouillon, chicken flavor bouillon, and tomato, whatever. You guys know, you guys know the drill. You guys know the motherfucking drill. Siempre se gusta este. I'm already get going. It's already going low, bitch. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Estamos en quarantine. Quarantine? Quarantine? That is quarantine. Quarantine. Estamos en, si lo, no, si nos dicen que we can't get out or whatever. Y ya no tengo de esta. I have a little one. We'll survive. We're survivors. So we're going to use it. This one's going to be for the, for the rice. Also, que mas, que mas, bitch, que mas. Oh yeah, so she said, I'm gonna do it her style. It came out really, really good. And let's get this motherfucker popping. Hola, si, de verdad, de verdad. I said the ingredients, bitch. For the rice, um, you could use this one, but you know, times are hard right now and you can't find what you really need. So this is, this is the one that I got from the cucaracha. The only difference is in que una está más long y una está más short. So, I feel like if you toast the, the rice good, no se te va a deshacer. So, I'm going to try my best to explain this bitch to that ass. Okay. So, primero, lo que siempre hago, Mandy, okay. we're going to wash the rice. We're going to put it in here. I fill it up to here. Y la vamos a lavar. Okay? Okay. Ya lavé las cacerolas. Lava la de Sofía, la tortilla. Peeling the papa. Say hi, my Sophies. Hello. Why is it green? Sometimes it, it gets green, so look that green. All you gotta do is peel it more. I love uh, potatoes. I know, you say, what is it? You say you eat it like apples. Pero no da chorro. People eat, people eat a lot of raw stuff all the time. So I don't think it's a bad thing. So when you go like this, you do the bottom, right? Te estoy enseñando para que no te hagas bolas, okay? No porque you don't know how to do it. In the black thing, you're supposed to go like that, but I don't like holes on mine. But you know, I'll just do a fucking wasting papa. Y ahorita no hay que gastar nada. Oh, my mom. My mom says never to waste anything. <laughs> my mom, she always eats whatever we don't finish, she eats it. That's how my mama is. So, you then you flip it to one side, and then you flip it to the other side. Miss? And then we're going to put it in the water. Because if you don't put it in the water, it starts getting brown. You go, you don't want it to get brown. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. So see how this thing is almost hasta la que se llene. So a little bit lower than the line. Yeah, that's enough, baby. Okay. Just wash it. Go, yo. Andy washing the rice. 
It helps it so it could get softer también. If you don't have to wash it if you don't want to, sometimes I don't. It's not that deep. Porque ya viene en bolsa, pero yo no. Ahora tenemos que lavarnos everything, el culo, la panocha, los huevos, everything, everything. Let's boil the six tomatitos. One, two, three, four, five, six on the edge, six, six on the edge, and three serranos. No muchos porque la longaniza ya pica un poquito. And for the longaniza, I'm using this pork longaniza. Um, I saved it because one time I did, did this the breakfast for Mario and I only used one little longaniza. So, bitch, ahorita se ahorra todo. And these, you could get them at Walmart. That's where I got mine from. Este, or también la Smart and Final, they sell that ass. And we're gonna start cooking it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna start cooking the rice. Sabe comer, no mames. Haces un desmadre. Y luego, ¿por qué compras dos y nomás tienes una boca? <laughs> making a lemonade as in the ass talking about cat thing it's cat there's a cat right we have a bunch of alley cats and they're cool as fuck we never have problem with them they just mind their own business you know they keep the our cheesements are our cheesements and their cheesements their cheesements but there's this orange cat right new. he's new well he's been in the hood so yeah mandy pero he comes around and goes back that motherfucker has been raping all the little cats i don't know if it's fucking season um, como se dice mating season, some bullshit season, but the, the fucking orange cat is like, um, was it two days ago? No, yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah. So there's this baby cat. She's, she's, we like her porque she's like the, she's like the cutest one, right? She was like right there. Y había un pinche gato over here grabbing her leg and the other gato, the other cat grabbing her leg and the orange cat was from the back. And I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, why does it have to be three cats with one baby cat? Oh, she's not a baby. I think she's like a teenager. And yes, I got pissed off. So I got the water hose and I was like, andale cabrones. Porque the orange cat was going. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? So um, I got mad at him. Like, man, he's like, what are you doing, mama? I'm like, what the fuck? What the, what the fuck are you doing? What are you talking to me? Like, who are you talking to? I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Este, over there, and I got the hose, and I'm, like, put, throwing the water at him. And they ran, like, little bitches. Pero si no mames. Pero es que, I think when the cats are very, like, corny. They are very crazy. Um, like, you, I used to think that they would, like, they would force the girls, but no. Like, the cat girl cats, they're like, mm, mm, they get all, like, freaky dicky, and then the cat gets you know, it's just some fucking craziness over there. But last night we were like trying to come up with the plan, like what to do with that cat. And I'm like, I'm just gonna cut his dick off. And so we already thought I was gonna cut, cut his dick off. But come on, wait, wait, wait. But that's what they do, right? Don't they take him to the? I think they cut their balls or something. Mommy, mm. The only way um, the vet could, could cut them dick off is if they had cancer in them dick. That's the only way. No. No, that's not how it works. They don't remove the whole thing. So, man, who the fuck are you? A veterinarian? Vegetarian? Veterinario? Que chingados eres, cabrona? Estás bien pinche loca. Y vienes acá muy chingona. The only way to do it. Ni sabes. Ya cuando vayas a la escuela, ya te digan, entonces ya te creo, cabrona. So, we're cutting the potatoes, the papas. And you know, I was gonna make the rice first, but I'm just gonna make it like one thing at a time because I'm too hyper. You know what I'm saying? He va a ser un desmadre. So, tomatoes are ready. I'm gonna put some garlic and do the little longanizas. You could either go like this and just let it all, you know? But I like mine like a little thicker. This is like, I'm telling you, this is the thing that I used to eat when I was little. Um, my mom would make it, and then my mom, uh, my sister, I would be like in the bed and be like, hey, Julia. Give me some food. And it's this. she would go heat up the tortillas and do every, everything for me. And then she would come back. And the onion was missing. Because I eat this with some raw onion and lemon and salt on top. And I'm like, where's my onion? And she's like, I'm so sorry, I forgot. la chingada, go get my shit. And um, she, she was so traumatized, man. I was such a bad sister. But all because of that, because, you know, when, when she was little, I was very strict with her. I don't know why. Este, she became a good girl she's a good person and she's gonna get married through church and all that you know not like me i just you know ran away from home 
Este, when she was 16, this girl offered her some, some crystal meth. Because um, I guess she told her, oh, if you want to be skinny, you could take this, right? Then so then, then, so the girl was like, if you want to lose weight, because my sister's always been a little, you know, she loves, she likes food. A little fluffy. But right now she lost weight. She be looking good. She's losing weight for her wedding. Yes, the, the girl was like, oh, yeah, you want some crystal mesh? And my sister said that she thought about it. But she said that I came to her head like, fucking never do drugs. You know, you're going to end up a puta. You're going to end up in the streets and you want to die. And I would, I would always say things like that to her. So she never touched it. She never touched drugs. And I'm very proud of my sister. Porque you know what I'm saying? A lot of girls, también chulas, you know, son unas chuladas. And salen y hacen pinches mamadas like to do drugs. And then you see them in the streets. And it's like, no mames, I've seen girls that are so gorgeous with the big pretty eyes. You like go after like a couple years, they have no light in their eyes. So I'm so thankful even though I was kind of strict with my sister. You know what I'm saying? But I think I feel like I had this thing. I helped her get, get raised or raised. I helped raise her. We always say that. Oh, um, I say that I'm her dad. Okay, I was that male role model, even though I don't have a dick. But you know what I'm saying? I was that male role model. We're going to cocinar la longaniza. So my mom would always put a little water. Así no mucha, porque then it gets, gets all like loosey. Más poquita. And then we're going to cook the este. No, we're going to remix the, ¿cómo se llama? The tomatoes. It looks like a little bit, but then I'm going to add the one from yesterday and it's going to be more. So it's all good. It's okay because it's only for today. A rato probably gonna cook something else. We cook a lot up in this house. I'm just gonna move it around. I like it mine a little bit crispy, a little bit overdone. Because you know what I'm saying? Así sabe más mejor doradita. So, you know, just cook it slowly. But surely. For that egg. Hey, 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 hey. No te estás agarrando los huevos, cabrón. Parece que tienes lumbrices. Look at this perfect lemon. Oh, so I wanted to show you guys the perfect limon. Este, they're making agua de limon. So, Mandy, why are your gloves all messed up? <laughs> <laughs> agua de limon with pepino and chia seeds. That's because Sofia wanted some. So, now I'm going to cut the papas. Yeah, I'm going to cut the papas, papa. Este, you can make them big or small, whatever the fuck you want. But I like mine's little. I don't know, I just don't like it to be a big piece of papa. I like a little, like a medium piece of papa. Okay, this is not medium, that's little. I don't know, that's how I like it. Do what you do, just wash your shoes. You know what I'm saying? Man, I be hearing helicopters and fucking cop cars all the motherfucking time. Like, just what the fuck is going on? Mario told me that they're going to be drones. No, man, there's so many conspiracy theories up in this bitch. Que es, que es politics, que la coronavirus is not real, que they're paying the people. I'm like, shut the fuck up. ¿Cómo va a ser una pinche conspiracy si there's people fucking dying? Y todos esos chinitos que se murieron, ¿qué? ¿Tú qué, quick? You're gonna go get some trees? Todos los chinitos que se murieron, ¿qué? They pay them too? I don't know, I just feel like every time some shit happens, people wanna be like, oh, que es, que es esto y que es lo otro y que es su culo y que es su nalga. I don't know. All I know is that just in case or whatever, Amaya is staying home. I've been staying home. I know all you people that work in healthcare and in like essential people. Este, have you guys seen that meme? Where is that that actor? The one that came out in. Me? ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Qué pasó? You want to wash your hands? I start saying, pues. ¿Cómo se llama este el actor ese que salió en my clubin? It's a película badass. Remember the the cop? I know. He's like a state, he's always like a Jewish guy. Anyways, he's a Jewish. He came out in the this video, and there's a meme about a meme about him where he's like feeling himself, and they say when they say that you're essential and that you have to work, like you think you're all that, you feel all special. I'll show you guys a meme. I'm just fucking talking out of my mouth. Burnt, not burnt, overcooked. Mira que chula. Now that's a mira que chulada right there. Este, now we're gonna remix that one right there. And let's I do it. I didn't this. add water, pero se me salió poquita. And we're just gonna put the garlic cloves. We're gonna close this bitch. Remix this bitch. No salt, porque la longaniza 
has salt already. So you could use longanisa or you could use chorizo. So now I'm gonna get my shield up in the house. Y vamos a echarle the remix. Papas. Then we're going to get the papas. Yeah. Where's my cuchara? My cuchara, my cuchara, that they gave me. Let's move it. If it's a little bit, it's all good. Look. Oh my God, you guys smell that. Why don't you like the chili? The chili is so good. It smells so fucking good. I'm like fucking garlic and tomato and everything. Now we're gonna add the papas. That's why I like to make them little, because if you make them all big, it's they could stay uncooked or some shit. I'm only gonna leave it for like, a ver, unos five, eight minutes. Porque with the steam, ¿cómo se llama? Con el este. Vapor, the steam, yeah, yeah, yeah. It will finish getting cooked. And see, this food is not even expensive. The longaniza is not expensive. The papa is not expensive, and you can feed your whole damn family. And then be like, damn. Not like me. I made it twice. This week, yesterday, and today. Because yesterday I was trying to hurry up. Mm, I need a little bit of salt. Where do I all here my salt? Always check your food for salt. It's okay if it's missing. But por eso I don't put this the salt on my tomatoes. Because I could just add it, you know, later on. So we're going to leave it. There, because it will see a little bit longer. Mira again, Shola. Motherfuckers, so the longaniza is ready. This is what I like about it. There's big pieces right there, little pieces. Like, you know, tamas este morenito allí, clarito allí. It's just perfection. Okay, now we're going to do the rice. So for the rice, you are going to need tomato flavoring, chicken flavoring, maybe some salt, because that shit has a lot of salt. Three tomatoes. It's the chile serrano, cumin for that ass. And if you want to, if you don't want to, you could get it. The, <clears throat> it's the ¿cómo se llama? tomato sauce. That's just my thing right there. Also, very importante, we need some ajo, garlic clove. Sofia and baby Mario are fucking choking themselves over there. So here we go, yo. We're just going to add some oil and bitch. I'm pissed. So all this time I thought this was avocado oil, you know, it is a remix of um, um, canola oil and avocado oil. That's why it was so cheap. But it's all good. Me la voy a acabar porque that's all I have right now until I get to go to the store again. Don't believe this liar. It's because I don't read out the fucking ingredients. I just get shit. I'm that type of bitch. Get in the store. Get out of the store. In and out. Let's go. Put the oil in there so I could get hot or whatever. Y le vamos a echar la arroz. The, the rice, I left it draining. When I wash it and I leave it, como que it gets like, I don't know, como que it gets softer. So this is a measurement, right? That's what I'm using. If you don't have one of these, it's probably like two cups. I don't know. I don't really know. That's my best, como se dice más? My best guess. And we're just going to move them around. Before this starts cooking all the way, we're going to do a little remix the remix mix porque you know chingue esa madre se va a quemar los este tomates you could cut them in four or whatever pero vamos a echar allí so there's gonna be three of them que les iba a decir so the money for the salsa money that I've been selling my salsas I am not wasting it I'm actually saving it because my friend Yasmin she told me that <clears throat> I should make it legit like go to the city yeah this was it city hall and it's the you know, tell them I, I want to actually sell the salsas to make it like, you know? So, yeah. I'm trying, you know, bitch. I'm trying. You know, must. I just want to make my mama proud. That's it. Kids proud. So, I had one tablespoon of this, the chicken flavor. And one one tablespoon of this, the tomato flavor. If you don't have both of them, both of them is all good in the hood. If you have the beef flavoring, you could add that one. You could pretty much add whatever the fuck you have. You know what I'm saying? There's no rules to this bitch. I'm gonna add, let me see, two, three cups of water. Okay, okay. The remix. So we're gonna add the chile and the cumin. And this is what the girl taught me. 
You know what I'm saying? Thank you, baby girl. Este, when you guys give me consejos, advice, I don't take it up the ass because, bitch, I don't know everything. Yo también, you know, I learned how to cook. I wasn't born learning how to cook. My mom, she tried to teach me when I was a little kid, but I always wanted to be fucking around. Plus, my mom was always working. So when she did cook, it was like she was in the zone, like, make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? So she told me, ven, para que te enseñe. And I was like, no, I'm not even going to get married. I don't, I'm not even going to do all that. You know, I'm going to be an independent woman. And I am an independent woman, but I have a family. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm with my husband and, you know, I, I como cater to him does not mean that I don't have my own mind. It doesn't mean that I don't speak the fuck up. That's what people don't understand, you know, that when you are in a marriage, you, yes, you, you, you're supposed to... You know, be there for your husband and be there for your wife. But also never forget yourself. Always think about yourself también. Because then when you just about them, about them, about them. And then you forget that about yourself. Then you start hating that person. Because you're like, man, I'm wasting my whole life with that ass. And you know, that's when the problems start. So yes, even though if you're with your husband, your wife. Don't forget about yourself to do something for yourself. To do something that's for you. You know what I'm saying? Pero también, you know, take care of each other. Ay, mira, Miss Fela. Filosofical? Filosofical? ¿Cómo se dice? Filosofical. Uh, my mom, that she has been going, she has been through a lot, and she did let men run all over her, like my dad and my stepdad. Pero when I got with Mario, este, one time, you know, because I was just being a mommy, and I was we wearing este, basketball shorts and a big-ass shirt. And I went my little stroller walking all the way to her work. And I had no makeup on. I was toda fodonga. And my mom, she was all upset. She's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, what do you mean what am I doing? She's like, what is this? Why are you taking care of yourself? And I said, oh, I don't care. I'm a mom now. And she's like, no. She's like, no. Do you have to take care of you too? You have to look good for yourself. Even though you're a mom, it doesn't mean you're dead. It doesn't mean you don't have a life. And I was like shook it. I was like, me mama giving me like that advice because I always thought that my mom didn't care about that because my mom, well, my mom never looked bad. My mom always had her little lipstick. She, she's the one that taught me to go like, you know, like this. That's how I wear my blush like that because she was always arregladita, you know? We may not have the best fucking, we might have not had the best brands or the best makeup or the best whoopie whoop whoop. But she tried, and I remember she had her favorite skirt it was this flower skirt because my mom, my mom, my mom had a fat ass. She still has a fat ass. My mom is big booty Judy with that booty. I saw her one time I gave her a, a shot, a B12 shot. And she was like 50, like 54. And I'm like, God damn, pinche onion butt. Like, I swear she's black. I always tell her, yeah, we have a black lady booty. But anyway, este, what the fuck was I saying? She had her favorite skirt. And like when we, whenever we went to the swap meet meet where we meet meet meet, she would wear it. And she always told me it was her favorite skirt. And when when she was like a little girl, she always dreamed that she would have that skirt, a skirt like that. And that that skirt we actually got it at Goodwill. A lot of clothes that I had when I was little. My Nike my Nike sweater. I have a Nike sweater that's when I was in fifth grade. I still have that sweater. It's like vintage, huh, Mandy? It's vintage. And when I found that shit, I was like. Losing my mind. I was like, yes, I found it. Jackpot. And I still have that hole. This is how I want it. It's a little golden, brownish, or whatever, but with a little bit of white. But that just will make it so que no se te desasca or whatever. Now we're going to add the remix to the remix to the remix, mix, mix. Ay, que mamada, ¿verdad? Que pata chingadera, digo. Okay, motherfuckers. So we're going to add put our shield. And I'm gonna add a little bit of more water to this, maybe like a cup, so it could este, get all of this goodness right here, because that's what we want. I put the cup in there, I'm gonna remix it. Y la vamos a echar ahí. And there you go, yo. Ahí está. Ya chingamos, wey, ya chingamos. We're gonna put in medium, make sure it's in the middle. Because sometimes shit doesn't cook because you're not paying attention and it's like in the corner or in the other corner. So you want that motherfucker to be in the middle. Like you say, 
cocina, you know, evenly or whatever. Pero ahí está. Those left. They just left this half ass, like always. They always. I see they want to start cook something and luego they, fit, they stop. And they don't finish. And I always have to finish it for them. So we're going to add the sugar and the chia seeds. That much. Because with a little bit, it goes. A little bit goes a long way. She loves. She loves anything like this. Anything fresh. She loves cilantro. She loves avocados. Menudo. The one that's a little different is that Mandy. She's a little picky. And baby Mario, he'll eat sandwiches for a whole week. And then the next week, he'll eat rice. Put out rice. And then the next week, he'll eat, um, what was this other thing? Sandwich? Hot dogs. Pero like, um, como se dice? This week, it's rice. That's why I'm making rice. And there you go. Mira que chula. Ya está, Sophie, Sophie's. Ahí está, mamá. ¿Qué? Do you guys hear the cats? Te digo que algo está pasando con los pinches gatos. Yo no sé qué tienen. Do you hear the cat puppy? What's going on? Está el gatito. So Mandy says that the orange cat, the one that we're telling you guys about, he was este, fighting him, Mandy? And uh, Mandy threw a pencil at him. I mean, we're not violent up in this family, but it's the way, like, the orange cat, he's a bully. Are you okay? Hey. Meow, meow. Meow. You okay? You chilling? Fuck that fool. You don't need, you don't need him in your life. If he bullies you, don't saca las uñas, way. Or collars. We're going to check on the rice. When you check on the rice, make sure to use a fork. And just move it around así para que se empareje. Also, I'm gonna, um, ¿cómo se dice? I'm gonna lower the, not the temperature, this bitch right here. A little bit lower. Para que se acabe de hacer. And I'm gonna close it. And the vapor, this, whatever, is gonna finish the, finish the job. So I'm gonna turn this bitch off. Y ya acabamos. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mira que chulada. That's what the fuck. I'm talking about bitch don't get discouraged i know there's some down ass bitches of you out there that know how to make this the first time that you tried it bitch it took me like 20 fucking times i would fuck it up fuck it up fuck it up fuck it up but i finally got it you know what i'm saying este it took me yeah a lot of times so don't get discouraged i like my my biggest thing is like the tostar the rice that's like my number one thing the other thing don't add too much water mm -hmm. I'm gonna tortillas Mm, I'm gonna eat three. I love tortillas, but I don't eat a lot. I mean, like I told you guys, I eat like right now, y luego al rato, y luego al rato, rato. That's what I do, Scooby Doo. Este, somebody asked me what kind of tortillas I use. I, I like these, Guerrero. I don't know. I feel like they're not too thick, they're not too thin, and I get super excited when they're two for five dollars. Ooh! -wee! Mandy just told me something about that they're gonna give um the government's gonna give a thousand dollars per person. I wonder how the fuck that's gonna work. Porque I don't know. I feel like people are gonna do fraud. Cause so when it's about when it's something about money, people always be doing the mostest. People money makes people crazy, especially in Mexico. Not especially, but like in Mexico, where my mom is from. Este, you know how the abuelitos, they die? And the uh, children, most of them live over here in the U.S. They be fucking fighting over fucking a piece of land. Un terreno. And they won't talk to each other for years over a fucking piece of land. And I'm like, bruh, I don't know how they could do it. Even with, um, when Mario's grandma died, I was so sad because they sold her house. Because she had six, six, six kids? And um, they're grown and shit. So, you know, the houses here, they're expensive. I mean, they're little, but they, they're expensive. They always say, go to Texas, go to Arizona. You get a big-ass house for the price of a house over here. 
So anyways, they sold the house and I was sad because like the grandma would always have like tamales or like tacos de canasta, tacos de vapor, you know, like like her food. And then everybody, everybody would reunite over there. But then when she passed away, you know, we don't see each other anymore. And that's the thing that I loved about Mario's family, that they were so united. I mean, they'd be talking shit about each other, but they were united. Pero ni modo, shit happens. And um, it's crazy because Mar Mario's is the family. Like, he had this big ass family, and then little by little, they just start, like dying. I never met the grandpa. Lucky bitch of Mario's ex met him. But I did meet his grandma, his, um, his tío, Pailo, Nato that passed away. También, you know, Tomas. They all died. And they were really cool with me. They were really like respectful, and they loved Mario. They actually helped raise Mario because um, Mario's dad. Um, he lives in Mexico, and he never took care of Mario. So Mario was raised by his uncles and his grandpa and all that. That's why he's such a good man, because he had a lot, a lot of good men in his life, even though he didn't have his his dad. His really, he had his stepdad, though. His stepdad, my suegro, he was a she is knees. He is a she is knees. So let me get this ready. Here we go, yo. Yo to the yo to the yo, yo, yo. Yes, there's a lot of onion. Yes, I love onion. I don't care. I don't fucking care. I don't care my mouth smells. Actually, I feel like onion is healthy for you. Mario, ¿qué estás haciendo, cabrón? He's always getting the training. Like, calmate, wey. What's going on? He gets all rough and shit. I love my boy. Aquí está. It's a little bit of salt for the onion. And also, here's my tortillas. A little... You know, a little crunchy, crunch, crunch, crunch. Motherfuckers, before I try it, finish it, eat it, or whatever, este, I want to remind you guys of the Comal raffle. Um, Comal, pendeja, babosa, estupida, animala. Molcajete raffle. You guys know I'm doing a raffle. Este, I just want to remind you guys because we have a week left. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to do the raffle on Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. I'm going to do it's the final countdown. Oh, thank you to Deborah Harper. Este, she told me that with the molcajete, I should send you guys uh, the little brush. So I'm going to get the brush for you guys. So you guys, because she said not everybody knows how to clean it. So this is like easy peasy mac and cheesy. You know, you wash that ass, wash that ass. Also, este, I'm sending the rock for the winner. So this, this, and that. And don't worry, it's not going to be like so much money for the shipping and handling. Porque there's this thing that I discovered. It's like flat rate fee. Flat rate fee for that ass. And it's like whatever. It doesn't matter the weight or whatever. See, it's the same thing. It's $15.50. That's why when I sell my salsas, if you guys live somewhere, I charge you guys $15. Because that's how much it costs. Fucking shipping shit is expensive. I'm like, damn. And then there's people. I always see in the... The UPS or the FedEx, I always see like a bunch of people with a bunch of packages. I'm like, ¿cuánto pinche dinero van a mandar? That's a lot of sending. But I guess people do that for work, like send stuff and buy stuff and eBay stuff and all that. So anyways, let's get to it, motherfuckers. The elote guy is like working hard. Bitch, I bought two elotes. Yeah, two elotes and one raspado. It was $7.50. I remember when raspados and elotes were a dollar. And I was like, fine, I'll buy it for these kids. That's why I like to make them. Because, bitch, the other day I bought like 12 elotes, corns, for like three bucks. And motherfucker's selling me, but whatever. Yeah, I gotta make his mula. But he's the one walking around, so I guess. Whatever. I ain't hating on his game. <laughs> bitch. Mmm. No, mom. My pinky up. Mmm. 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 Mames, qué chulada, qué hermosura de comida. 
Bitch, you would have told me I was gonna cook this good. I wouldn't believe you like five years ago. Mmm. Mmm. I'm nine. I've been cooking since I was like 26. I've, I've always cooked. It's not like I didn't cook. I always cook food, but I was in like cooking, cooking, cooking from the soul. Because this is what it, this is. This is cooking from the soul. This is loving your food. Mm -hmm. I'm doing the damn thing. I mean, you don't have to be a good cook to cook. You just have to want to be, be what? Be open to learning or be willing, willing to learn. Yeah, ves, ya aprendí, wey, ya aprendí. No estoy tan pendeja. And you get the rice with a little bit of that shit. Mm. Perfection. Mm, mm, mm. But anyways, motherfuckers, thank you for reaching out and um, sending me nice messages. You know what I'm saying? Emailing me, asking me if I'm okay, if I'm good, if my kid's good. Like, I have bitches, bitches, women, sending me a fucking email and sending me, hey, bird, I just want to make sure you're okay. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to hit me up. What's up? That's like, I even, I have friends that, that are supposed to be my friends. They haven't even said that to me. I mean, I know my mom and my sister, they, they don't even got to tell me. But the fact that I got people out here praying, praying for me, telling me if I ever need anything to hit him up. Like, wow. Wow, that's love, bitch. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's real ass, genuine, real ass motherfuckers in this world. And that's what I love to make these little ass videos. I know I'm, <clears throat> I know that I talk a lot of shit. But thank you for real. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for the motherfucking hate. To all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. Peace. Motherfucking love.